In the column on the left, you have four different ways of selecting tests for presentation. The first option, by dimensions. You select the dimension that you want to test and the Vienna test system suggests the appropriate test. Secondly, by tests. All the tests for which you have a license are listed here. Thirdly, by test sets. Test sets are prefigured combinations of various test forms, rather like a ready-made test battery, such as the COGBAT test set for cognitive basic testing. And here is the fourth option. By test batteries. You can compile a series of selected tests into a test battery yourself and save it. You can then select it here in the test batteries sub-menu. We are now going to present the test Tower of London Freiburg version. Its short name is TOL. So we click on this test in the left hand column in the tests sub-menu. It is then automatically moved into the center column where we now select the appropriate test form. Most of the tests in the Vienna test system have various test forms. The Tower of London has a long form and a short form, each with three different parallel forms. Once we have decided on form S2, standard form B, we click on the little blue arrow next to the test form. The test is then moved into the test sequence column on the right. This also activates the start testing button. We can now start the test session. As a second example, let's look at what settings are possible with another test. We'll use the iSync Personality Profiler V6, known as EPP6. Once we have selected the test in the left-hand column, it is moved to the center column. With this test, we now have the option to omit some of the test scales. When you have made your choice, click on the blue arrow on the right at the top under the test forms to move the test into the test sequence column so that testing is ready to start. Important. The special selection options for a test, if any, are only available in the center column. If you want to change a test in the right hand column, click on the corresponding line and you can then change the choices for this test. For example, remove or add a scale. If you want to change the test form, click directly on the test form in the right-hand column. You can then set the required test form in this box. If you want to remove a test in the right-hand column, click on the little red X. If you are satisfied with the selection, click on Start Testing in the menu to present the test. If you want to compile a test battery, add the required tests to the test sequence column on the right one by one. You can then save your test battery, just click on Save and enter a name for the test battery. It is easy to select any saved test battery in the left-hand column in the Test Batteries sub-menu.